Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Dear viewers, welcome to Success Path Your TV show who brings you successful people Who are leaving a positive impact into our society Today we have uh, Mimmi Asma Aisei A dedicated female content creator Who waves religious content And beautifully recites verses from uh, the Quran Join us in a journey of inspiration as we explore the soulful reflection and motivational insight shared by Asma. Asma, welcome with us. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, express my gratitude for having, having me as a guest uh, in your program. Thank you. Uh, I'm Asma Mami. I'm uh, 25 years old and I'm a content creator and a digital marketer. Uh, that's it. I create uh, religious content and motivational and educational uh, content and I really like what I'm doing. Welcome Asma. Can Thanks. you share a little bit more about your background and what inspired you to become a content creator specialized and in uh, religious content? Well, uh, at the beginning I was uh, like a regular Muslim, if we can say that. Uh, and I was working as a digital manager in uh, a, a private uh, agency. Okay. Uh, I was sharing like more stories and videos about my job, about uh, digital marketing, uh, tips and advice uh, and all. Then after I wore hijab, uh, I was wearing only the scarf, you know. Okay. Then after I wore hijab, I, um, I said to myself that if I uh, want to be a real hijab girl or Muslim girl, uh, I say, uh, I need to behave like one. So uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not only about how do you look like, but it's about how uh, do you behave, how do you treat people, and yes. how, how, uh, exactly, how, how is your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So uh, I started asking questions and searching for answers uh, for myself. Then uh, I enjoyed that, like I have learned a lot about Islam. So I, I felt that there must be someone who needs to know that. Yes. So I, I felt like it's not fair if I just keep it for myself. Then I started sharing uh, everything I, I learned or found about uh, Islam and that's how uh, the whole thing started. Okay, that's very good. Uh, creating content with a religion theme often requires a deep connection. How do you cultivate yourself and maintain that spiritual connection? Well, um, it's obvious that uh, the religious content or the, hard, the most difficult type of content is the religious one. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's so hard because um, uh, Islam is, not, is, is a difficult matter to be addressed. Like when you talk about topics in Islam, uh, it's so difficult and um, you need to be aware and and very careful when talking yes, about uh, exactly because you will influence people if you share the wrong information or you share it in the wrong way you will be, it be misunderstood uh, exactly you will be influencing right. people in a wrong way yes it's a so, huge reliability it's a responsibility exactly it's a big responsibility it was uh, i won't lie yes. i felt i felt so many times several times uh, fear and hesitation uh, then uh, alhamdulillah i was always praying and asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance uh, there is a dua, the, the dua of sayyidina musa alayhi salam allahumma shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul 'uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli okay let's uh, stop here okay. let's go back let's go let's go to the jingle i say i'm sorry and come back after and finish our conversation with asma We are back in Roots of Vision with uh, Asma. Let's continue our conversation. Asma, we were talking about uh, the fact that you started creating content and how big of a responsibility yeah. it is. I, I said that it was uh, very hard, but I, I was always praying and uh, reminding myself that uh, this is, uh, we can say, a noble message I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to, uh, to convey. Uh, a good message, so uh, I I always get motiva motivated by this. Okay. Alhamdulillah, Allah was always there for me because um, He His Almighty knows that uh, I'm trying to 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 provide or to give a good message. 
Uh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Beyond your content creating, how do you hope to inspire uh, people who are watching you? What are the main messages that you're aiming to convey to your audience? Well, uh, as you might know, my content is kind of various. So I yes. share vlogs, I uh, talk about, I, I uh, teach uh, English, I, I share my good and bad That's experiences. All with a religious touch. Exactly, yeah. So uh, I'm trying to, to um, convey a, a good image about Islam okay. without giving direct comments and instructions. Uh -huh, so that's... I'm trying to make it more uh, natural and informal because when you bring people and uh, start giving them comments and uh, instructions, they would hate you yes. <laughs> or dislike you and of hate course. Islam because of you. Uh, uh, I always remind myself that I'm uh, kind of showing the image of Islam. So I'm, I'm trying to make it spontaneous more uh, and make my followers feel that we are one family, we are learning together. Mm -hmm. I teach from them, they teach from, yes. they, they get learned from me, so uh, yes. that's it. Mm. That's good. Um, the decision to focus on religious content is significant. Can you share a pivotal moment or an experience who shaped your vision? Well, uh, there, were, there was a, a, a period, uh, okay. I think it was after the coronavirus uh, pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, we all witnessed a, a, like, a terrible uh, spread of the, yes. of the unethical and corrupt content. We all, we all felt disheartened about that, yes, but we couldn't do anything. I think that served uh, uh, like a wake-up call for me and so many other for, uh, content creators to start creating and producing uh, content that is both clean, meaningful, and positive. It uh, to 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 like um, balance the the, the gravity mm, or something yes, like that. It was yeah. like the go the good content against the bad, bad content. content. So uh, it was uh, another responsibility to um, to to, to uh, make a good impact, a positive impact, impact. Trying to do some good in all of that. Exactly. Yeah. It was. Uh, uh, I think you uh, you yes. you have witnessed that too. It was terrible, and it's still. But we are always trying to uh, improve. Exactly. Improve and make a positive uh, impact. impact. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you approach the delicate balance between staying true to religious teachings and creating content that is creative? Well, uh, I have told you that I, uh, I always try to make my content natural, uh, <coughs> informal, and mm -hmm. um, like I don't give... A, I don't. I, I I convey the my message indirectly. Exactly. Okay, so uh, as you know, I share my daily activities. For example, as a Quran recitation, motivating uh, people to maybe do positive things. Exactly. And, yeah. I I motivate the, them to do the same thing as I do indirectly, because mm -hmm. you know, uh, especially when it's about uh, Islam. Yes. Uh, uh, Islam is not a matter that you can um, add concepts or... Uh, yes, or uh, of course. So it's so hard. You are always uh, expected to be perfect and never make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm trying to share... Uh, that's why I decided to make various content. Okay, not only yeah. concentrating on, on, uh, on Islam, content. on a, uh, religious content. Uh, so I, I make uh, my followers feel that we are as I said, one family, we are friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I take from them some advice about different uh, fields. Uh, and you convey these advices to your audience. Exactly, that's okay, it. Dear exactly. viewers, uh, let's go to the jingle and come back to our interesting conversation with Asma. We are back. Uh, so, Asma, what, what challenges have you encountered in your journey? Uh, well, I think the, the, the toughest, one of the toughest uh, challenges I have faced is uh, dealing with uh, criticism and uh, negative comments. Mm -hmm. how, as, would you tell us how did you overcome them? 
exactly as i have told you that um, islam is so hard religion in general is so hard to to address it's uh, so difficult to address this kind of uh, topics so uh, when you are talking about religion you uh, uh, you they they think followers and people who watch you uh, they expect you to be a perfect person mm -hmm. so you never make mistakes you are uh, I don't know. So, so they, maybe they don't criticize the content; they start to criticize you as exactly, a person. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, also in my uh, in my personal life, in uh, so okay, yeah. well, let's not lie. There is not a lot of them. Uh, only few people. You feel that they are um, they are confused about Islam. So since okay. they can't help themselves, they attack people. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so as uh, I, I, I could uh, overcome uh, these, uh, these problems, challenges. well, I often ignore these comments and uh, destructive um, things, but I always pray, uh, 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 sometimes uh, I pray istikhara, sat istikhara. Yeah. I think sometimes I thought to stop uh, talking stop about religion I, I, yeah. and I stopped for a while, then uh, I felt that um, uh, Maybe Nia, needed, my yeah. yeah, I have a good. I had a good will, so I had to um, overcome and continue giving uh, a convey. Okay, message. let's talk about to end the show. Let's talk yeah. about your goal, your goal for the future, and also what advice would you give? Would you give to the the young people who are watching us? Well, uh, in content creation, mm -hmm. uh, my goal is uh, or my. Uh, my my goal is to uh, to reach more people, to influence more people, especially teenagers, because as I told you, there is uh, many and there is a terrible uh, amount of corruption and unethical things yeah. on social media, especially. So my my goal or my dream is to uh, impact more and uh, make a a good difference, a positive difference, especially I told you for uh, teenagers because okay. they uh, they, they are to uh, influence teenagers more. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. My message, uh, maybe I would say, uh, keep uh, keep uh, learning, keep developing your, keep working on your uh, self development. Mm -hmm. uh, stay always open to new experiences, but always keep your faith on Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, because. Uh, uh, Ibn Malik, uh, Ibn Malik uh, said once, "Ma kana lillahi dama wa tasal, wa ma kana li ghairi lillahi qutia wa fasal." So uh, we can always have a successful, meaningful, beautiful life while still true to the principles of our Islam. Mm -hmm. That's it. So uh, when you when you trust Allah and keep your faith in Allah, His Almighty will bring the whole life in your hands, and He will reward you. Why not with Al Jannah in the after life, inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you, Asma, for being with us. Thank you, uh, dear for viewers. Inviting me. We have arrived to the end of today's episode from Success Path. See you next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.